Hey, it's Ed. Today, I'd like to do a quick demo for you of a brand new feature that's just been introduced into the Helium MIDI sequencer from Four Pockets, which you see right here. I've got it loaded up in an AUM project, and what I'd like to show you is how you can use that chord sequence, that chord track, and get that into a project and transform your chords and any set of MIDI chords that you might get your hands on into something that you might use in a project or a song. So let's dive right in. Just to give you a preview of what it sounds like, I've got a very simple project loaded up here. I've got simply Helium, which has handling the chords. I've got a copy of Euclidean, which I'm using as sort of an arpeggiator. I've got Artbud here, which is handling the bass notes. And then for instruments, I've got Chameleon P uh, piano loaded. I've got a warm piano for the bass piano notes. And I've got String Lab over here from nice warm string pad sounds. Let's give it a spin. All right, so that's four simple chords that have been transformed into something completely new and different in a very simple and fast way. First, let me show you how to get those chords into Helium. It's very easy to do. So let's maximize this real quick. So in the upper right corner, there's a media bay. And in that media bay, if you click on here and click on clips, you'll notice there are 12 folders. I've got a few more that I've added myself, but there's 12 folders built in, which if you click on those and drill down, you'll see there's folders below there. And each of those, there's a progression folder and inside of those some subfolders. Uh, let me click on the minor one. And you'll notice that there's a number of uh, clips here, which are actually chord progressions. These are numbered in a music theory notation. Um, but I'm gonna show you uh, how you can preview those chords or your chords or any MIDI progressions that you might import very easily. And so it really doesn't matter what this shows. You can quickly preview it to get an idea of what that sounds like. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go to track two over here, which I've got set up in this project just to go to the piano. So it's going to allow me to preview those sounds. I'm going to turn off the sync for a moment here. I'm going to go over and to one of these chord progressions, like maybe this one right here. If you click uh, off to the right and click and hold, it's going to play that clip, that MIDI clip. I can click on this one, do the same thing. All right, I kind of like that one. So let's give it a try. All right, so what I wanna do now is let's clear this out. So give me just a moment while I do that. I'm gonna go on select, I'm gonna do select all. I'm gonna to go to clipboard, cut. I've now cleared out that chord track. Now I can throw this down here or what I can do instead is I can actually go back to track one. I can turn on the sync again I can go up here and start playing, which will start Euclidean playing. We can actually preview these chord progressions in the project. So let me show you how that works. So let me spin this up. So that's just Euclidean playing by itself. Now, if I start up that again and I go over to this chord and click on that and I click play, you'll notice this is going to tran uh, this is going to change over here. Let me turn the sync off. Rewind that. All right, I'm going to hit play. It's going to start up Euclidean. Now, I'm going to click on here and hold. And what you're hearing there is Euclid Euclidean is actually playing based on that chord sequence. So you can basically preview these chords in your project without having to drop them in and load them up and rewind and all that stuff. So let's try, let's try a couple more. Start that up again. Let's try this one here. Notice play clicks and there it goes. Let's 
try another one. How about this one's got a diminished. There it goes. Let's try this one here. All right, there's some crazy stuff in there. But, you know, you've got chords of your own you can bring in. You can make it sound any way you want. But I think that's a fun way to just experiment with your chord progressions and without even having to do much, just drop them right into uh, Helium. Click play on this and it's going to preview it for you right in the project itself. And very easy to do. So let's say you've decided on the chord progression you'd like to drop in. Now, this could be one of the built-in clips or it could be one of your own. However, there, there are a couple things to look out for, which I'll point out for you. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to import it. If you're going to be bringing in clips, you can click on this little files icon here. You can then import uh, from the files app. You can import an entire folder into the files app, uh, but that will allow you to bring your, your MIDI clip or MIDI file into the clips folder, and then you can work with those files just as I have here. Uh, the other thing to note is that if, if, if you want to bring in clips, they need to be in a certain format. So let me show you how this works. If you have a clip already, you can drag, click, hold, drag, drop it down there, release, and you'll notice that these chords now magically appear because these are in the correct format. I'll show you uh, what these actually look like. I don't know if that's the same one, but this is the format that the clips have to be imported or your MIDI files have to be in in order for Helium to recognize the chords. You've got to have uh, the notes all together in a single bar or sequence of bars, and then another set of notes for the next chord, another set of notes for the next chord, and so on. So you don't want to have these things crossing the lines and, and notes interspersed like that. You need to have chord progressions that are simply uh, a chord, another chord, another chord, and so forth. They don't all have to be the same length. They can vary, but they need to be simply, you know, chord notes all together without gaps, without spaces in each segment, and it convert them perfectly. It might convert other things that aren't quite uh, aligning to that, but uh, the results may vary. But it should be pretty easy to get things into that format and import them. So that's how you would get those chord tracks imported into your project in Helium. Now I'd like to shift your attention back to Euclidean to show you how I'm using that with this project. So now there's all sorts of things that um, need to be set up in Helium for this chord progression and chord track to work. I'm going to link to the videos in the description, like I said. So this is just a little preview of how this works. I want to do a quick demo. So let me show you also uh, a few tricks in Euclidean in order to get this to work in case you want to give it a try or you have Euclidean. So there's two things I want to point your attention to. Right here, there's a little keyboard symbol. If I click that, you'll notice it actually said MIDI chord recognition off. Now, what we want is on. So if I click that again, you'll actually see that it's it now says MIDI chord recognition is on. It flashes by fast. But this is surrounded by a blue line, which means it's active. That means it's going to take chords that are being sent to it and then use the sequencer to play those chords and create patterns from them. The other thing you have to do in Euclidean is go into settings and there's a setting called transpose fixed notes. Uh, that needs to be turned on for this kind of scenario. By default, that setting is off. Normally, it's going to use these notes right here to play in the sequencer. In this case, since we're feeding it chords, we want that transpose turned on so that it's going to just use the chords and the chord notes that are being fed to it, not what's in the sequencer itself. But all these other settings can be tweaked to your heart's content, um, and you can take, take those chords and transform them uh, in many, many different ways. So, and that's what I want to show you next. So let's keep that chord sequence that we had and let's play around with it a little bit in Euclidean. So let's go back to Rewind. Let's start playing this again. Uh, however, let me jump back and show you something that you will need to do in order to use this yourself. 
So let me just take a step back, go to chord demos. Let me, I'm gonna load up a session that I previously created uh, here. It's gonna load, I'm gonna go down to controller. You'll see there, there's now a chord track loaded below, pretty lengthy one. And I need to do a couple things here to make sure this is set up. I got the sync on, I have, I don't have a loop. So since I want this to continue playing while I'm doing this demo, I'm gonna to have to loop this over and over. So it's gonna just keep playing that chord pattern over and over and over again. So that's my loop. I've defined that on this upper by clicking and holding and selecting. You can see on the ruler there. Next thing you do, click loop. That will now make this loop. So let me just click play, you'll see. So that's basically what it's gonna do. It's gonna just keep looping when it reaches in it. It'll start all back over again, over there. Let me go back to Euclidean now that we've got Helium set up. Now we can start playing around with some of these patterns. So let's click play. Here's our new chord progression. Now, what I'd like to show you is uh, what you can do to change that up in Euclidean. So I've got a couple patterns that I've loaded up. Let me start playing again, and it'll show you how different patterns sound. They're gonna sound fairly similar, but it'll give you a, an idea. Let's go to pattern two. Much busier. Let's go to pattern three. Try pattern four. Now, uh, I want to point your attention here to this play mode. There are four play modes in Euclidean, and um, I'm not going to go into them here because basically we're we're trying to demonstrate chord progressions in Helium and how to use them and transform them. So I'm not going to dive into that, but to let you know. This is a very powerful app, and I'm gonna show you a couple chord progressions here. We've got a polyrhythm, and I'll show you how that sounds. So what I wanna just demonstrate for you is, you know, there's so many things you can do with just a couple apps to take these chords and transform them into completely different things. So let's click play on that. So that's just a little taste of what you can do with Euclidean. Now, the thing that I really like about this setup is this literally took me probably like 15 minutes to get everything set up um, from A to Z on here. You know, I just loaded up Helium, loaded up a chord track, set up the routing, fed it to Euclidean, changed those settings, set up some instruments, and off I went. Um, I did do a little bit with ArtBud here to get this bass sound, you know, but um, I will probably show this in another video, how this got set up. But bottom line, it's very easy to go from zero to quite a complicated output that you can then use in your projects. Take those chords and transform them. So let's go back to uh, Euclidean. I wanna show you one last thing. Uh, and just for fun, let's switch a, to another chord progression. Let's take a look at like this one here. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, that could be interesting. And this is a minor chord progression, I believe, or maybe it's a major, could, could be a major chord progression. So let's play that so you get a little flavor of it. And let's go back to Euclidean, pattern one, rewind and kick that off. So quite a stately sound, I would say, on that. Now let's say I 
had that chord pattern, just to show you back here, here's my chord pattern, right? And um, let's say I wanted to start from scratch, right? Well, I can go to Euclidean here, I can go right in here, I can go in and just into a brand new pattern, which has nothing in it whatsoever. Let's turn on A, B, and C. And we're just gonna leave it in Euclidean mode, and we're gonna use this randomize feature right here, which is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna click randomize right here, and this will let you choose different things that you want to randomize. There's so many options here. I can't go in them all. I'm going to show you a quick demo, however, of what it can do with some very, very simple settings. We're going to randomize notes. We're going to randomize velocity, probability, uh, repeats, which will throw in some repeated notes. And uh, first, we're going to try steps and sequence. There's different modes. That's the most basic. We're going to put the complexity at medium. And we're going to spin the wheel. And now this has given us a brand new pattern to work with. Let's see what we get with that chord progression. All right, let's try another randomize. Let's change the Let's change the mode. Put some more events in there too. Let's try steps and walk. And turn that up, turn that up. Randomize again. All right, so hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with the chord track within Helium. And this is just to start. I mean, there are endless possibilities of what you can do with this app. So uh, this is just a taste of what you can do. I hope it's helpful and thank you for watching. Take care.